Hello there, Reason People, Pooh Bear here, and welcome to my channel. And this is really a follow-up video to one I just released to do to do with getting MIDI back into Reason. And this time I'm actually using Voltage Modular to actually perform this. And when using Voltage Modular, um, you don't get the same delay as you do within Elements. So I'm actually going to go back to the devs in Elements and see if there's anything which can be done there. Um, the big difference is. Um, these particular modules come with the core version of um, Voltage, so that you're going to have to pay for them. Um, I've got quite a complex stack going. Um, it may look basic, but when you start thinking about it, effectively what I've kind of done is I've added my BST um, effectively as a bit of a sandwich between this player stack. So it's effectively like being part of this player stack. I have this player going into Voltage Modular, from Voltage Modular, it's going through um, into Instant Chord. From Instant Chord, I'm going back to a loopback which is coming, and then that loopback will be playing this instrument, which in turn is obviously going to fire off the Delta to start with, do its bits and bobs, down to this next player, which happens to be Note View. Note View's not doing anything apart from allowing me to see the results nice and clearly. And I'm playing this instrument, and I've got a um, CV out to go to that. And I've also got another CV out, which is just playing that kick. So, as I say, the big, big difference between what was happening and what is happening is the fact that um, it's instant. So, let's just uh, turn that off for the moment. So, this has the focus at the moment. So, as soon as I press a key, you see it's going to instantly light up. And we're hearing sound instantly. Yeah. So I've got a few echoes going on here as well. But the, the key thing is, even if I'm playing my keyboard at the top, it's instant. Yeah. Um, and that is the big difference between, as I said, um, using elements or not. We had that horrible delay. And the interesting thing, obviously, about this particular setup is the fact that we can obviously record at many different layers. Um, we can obviously do a direct record here, so we can record the results which are coming out here. We've obviously got then this going on. When this comes back out into Reason, we can actually record it. And if we record it at this layer, so it'd be if we record it at this device, we would be recording the results from there prior to going through Delta. And obviously, we can do a direct record and record the, actually the results of the Delta as well. So there's a, a number of different places where we can obviously set up this, these recording sessions. Um, very, very quickly, I know I didn't touch on it too much in my other video, I do have the beginner's guide, that's how I talk about where I'm, I'm setting up um, MIDI loopbacks and everything. So this particular loopback actually talks to this little program here, which is called Loop MIDI. Then from Loop MIDI, all I simply do is I just have a, a controller set up, um, which is pointing to that same MIDI device. And yeah, you, as I say, you're just gonna right click and assign that and lock that. Here, so I just lock these devices to this device so I can play other devices and the, the results really, which is coming back from uh, this instant chord via VM, will always play this um, instrument here. So it's a very straightforward setup, um, but a very effective setup, as you can sort here. And this is obviously uh, randomized, so everything you hear is going on is a bit is randomized. Anyway, so I just thought I'd let you know that. Thank you for watching and bye for now.